Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela and we're here with another episode of Wallpaper Wednesday. It's been a while and so I thought it was time. Uh, before we get started, a shout out to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. Welcome back and for all of you who are new, I'm glad that you're here and especially today to Christina's Creations sunshine and the paper plumeria and Christina and the paper plumeria both have channels so please go ahead and check them out I'm sure they would appreciate it so here's what I thought we would do today um let me just tell you a little bit about what I've been up to because this isn't going to be a long uh tutorial in fact it's really really easy but um we're going to make a couple of things I think to go in here uh but I recently was going through all of my pre-made ephemera. Let me move all this out of the way. And I had redesigned my, um, not redesigned it. I put my all of my templates and some of my um, sample items in to a new binder, which is already bursting. And then realized I had all kinds of other things like this that I did for a challenge. Um. It, Anyway, so I started sticking them into, this is one of our wallpaper books. This was something I was like, well, I need a sample of it because I haven't been very good about keeping samples of items that I've made for reference. And I realized that. And so I started popping some of them in there. Well, while I was going through them, I stumbled upon these. And this was just four file folders that I made and had glued together and they were in my stash. I totally had forgot I did them and I thought this would be a perfect easy wallpaper Wednesday. Remember I say wallpaper Wednesday because that's what I'm working with. You can work with anything. These are not wallpaper. These are just plain. These are from my uh, scraps that I had uh, made. You know that I have that box that has all of the different. I, I, here I'll just grab it. Uh, <clears throat> that when I'm done with projects I cut down to workable sizes and then I reference those and grab them when I need them. And so I thought, well, we're going to make some of these. So see it now. Look at this one. It's already huge too. I don't know what my solution is going to be in the future for these, but I think this is the easiest way because they can be so expandable. Uh, if you guys have ideas, let me know, but I'm going to stick this up on the shelf for right now. So here is why I was making them. Those. I got this many years ago and I have to tell you, I don't like it. It's, it's just like, I don't know. First of all, it works fine if you have a double sided piece of paper and then you can just punch out your tab. It's still not very heavy so putting it on the side of a page or top of the page doesn't work really that well. So as I was playing around and was punching out a bunch of different things, that's when I came upon my ability to make something else and make those file folders. So I want to show you what I did and then a couple other things that I thought about along the way. This we're probably not going to use today, but isn't that gorgeous? In a few, there's a very few, I don't know which packs they're in. Uh, they have this design in the wallpaper kits of different colors. And this was a piece that I kept because, you know, I love dragonflies. So I thought that was cute. So I just grabbed, here's some just strips. These, all that you guys see right here are all examples of the shabby, this one, this one. Well, all of these, except for the last one are part of what's in the shabby sheet kit. So, if you need wallpaper samples, you will be able to hop on and grab some of those. And eventually, I don't, I know it won't air until after this, but I will do kind of a flip through of what's in them. So, and then I grabbed those three, which I think we'll start with, and this big piece. And then I thought this was kind of fun. Uh, I think we're just going to use all of this and make three different pockets using those three different things. Which should we start with? Let's start with the one that's already cut because it's going to be easy peasy. 
So here we go. All you need is paper, scraps, whatever, uh, or wallpaper. And I'm not even going to worry about the fact that this is not straight. It's just fine. So all I'm going to do, oh, and you'll also need, if you have one of these, and you, like me, do not like it, you'll want to utilize it. And then I have a corner punch. And then, of course, my inks. So all you do is that. <laughs> and then you just take your tab upside down. And punch. We may want to. Let's see what it looks like once we round the corners. Yeah, we're going to leave it like that. And then I've got my Juicy Dauber. And I don't know if I shared this. I Yes, I have shared this before. I don't like these. I don't use them. I use my little baby Daubers almost exclusively, right? Well, <laughs> I was re-inking my vintage photo. And I had laid this on top of it because I needed it for something. And it got really, really juicy. And I decided, you know what? That is fabulous. Uh, I'm just going to keep it like that. And it has served me well. I'm going to slice this off. Should I? Do I dare do it? I can't cut straight. No, I'm not. And I'm sorry, you guys. Sometimes I just cut off screen. Because otherwise, you know, I don't want to give you... Make you see stick bringing it in and out. All right, so let's do this one. I don't know why I'm concentrating so well. And then, of course, if you want, you can use these pieces. I am not. <laughs> um, but that's all there is to it. Now, I'm going to show you a couple variations. One thing, remember that... If you're using wallpaper, eventually this will, the vintage photo will dry. If you're doing it on the inside, it works a lot better. But it does take a while. It will smudge if you're going to be touching it a lot. So we may have some smudging going on since we're doing this on the fly here. Let's make this in our big pocket. This has got a neat texture to it. And I, I mean, I'm certainly sure that I'm not the only one that does this, but I was like, I've never, I don't think I've ever done a video on that. And other people might not think about it. So why not? But that's when I finally decided, you know, it's probably not. It's not very useful except for me for that. Ooh, this looks cool. Really nice. So what are you all up to? I'm trying to think. When is this going to air? I always do that. May 4th. So next Wednesday. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what. Let's see. Well, I will be getting ready for when you watch this. I will be ready, getting ready to hit the road with the hubs. Dave and I are going to the Kentucky Derby. It's been on our bucket list for years. If you all out there have any tips and have been, please let Dave and I know. I'm kind of embracing the whole, you know, wear the, wear the hat. I have some hats to try. I should have done that on camera. <laughs> but I did take them. Well, I've had them for months after I had bought the tickets for Dave for Christmas I bought hats and of course I bought the hats and then didn't have anything to wear with them so I do have a couple options for dresses so if I decide to do that but I'm like is it going to be cold am I you know where are we going to be se seated do random old people like me actually dress up I, I mean I don't know like I said this is the first experience and Dave and I were going to invite our family because we have a, an Airbnb that has plenty of room. Uh, and I told him, I'm like, I think we better just do this by ourselves. I'm just going to go ahead and put this down so that. Um, and try it 
And then if once we navigate the waters of the Derby, then we will invite the rest of the fam. So on, I don't know how I did it on, and now that I put my book away, but I'm thinking, let's just get a piece of paper here. Of course, I'm in a craft room full of paper and I can't find a full sheet of paper. I'm just thinking, here, let me just grab a piece of coffee dyed paper. Oh, that's not coffee dyed. So I'm thinking what we can do is we can make this a pocket, this, 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 and this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six pockets. One embellishment. So let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to use the fabric tack because so I'm just going down to that line right there. I'm gluing it there because I'm not ready to put this on a page. So I don't know what that's going to be like. So I just want to glue just to get this together. But now I have one in my sample book, so I can just use this. Oh, did I glue that all? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Hold on, I need a wet wipe. I don't know how many wet wipes were in this pack, but I'm finally getting to the end of the first one. My goodness, there's a lot. And then let's just glue th this one. Come on. Oh gosh, it's the one thing with the fabric tack on wallpaper. Hey, that didn't even bleed. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a distress oxide. I was like, maybe I have something different. Okay, first one is done. Let's just put that aside. We'll move this so we see what that looks like underneath. Let's, the other, uh, well, let's do one that's really tiny. Will this work? I didn't even, I didn't even check. Wow, that was loud, I'm sure. Um, let's just see what happens when we do this. And again, you know, my edges aren't perfect. You can make this into a matchbook, too. Well, let's try that. See, I cannot cut straight. Oh. Girl, I can't take you anywhere. Uh, so that's what's going on in our world. <clears throat> and then lo lo just lots of preparations for Lennon's grad party, ordering cakes and sending out invites and all that good stuff. Oh, this is so pretty. I love, love, love these shabby chic wallpapers. And, you know, some of them, I, I, I think when I... Um, list them, it will say shabby chic wallpaper, but you know, some of it's like Victorian. It's, you know, they're all a little bit different. Now, you, do you need to put these together? No, absolutely not. You can do them just like that with a tiny little piece of ephemera in it. Let's just see what it looks like. Do I have something tiny? Let's look in my bag of use it or lose it. That's probably too big, yeah. I'm trying to find something that might, like, actually go with it. <laughs> Let's see if this will fit in there. I kind of glued these. But look how cute. Adorbs. Okay, so we can make them like that. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. Let's just use that whole piece. You can use your bone folder or your... nail folder if you're like me. I'm going to go up and I'm not going to quite, like that last one, I came down a little bit farther. This way it's just a little more square. I love how that distressing looks on there. You know, I'm not always a distressed kind of girl. I'm going to do a big one because, you know, throw caution to the wind. So yeah, I, uh, I don't know if it's just me or not. I mean, 
but I feel like everybody's getting just so busy because of spring is here and there's lots of activities and I don't know. It seems like every, all my babies, I mean, there's some that, of course, do videos every single day. I am not one of those people, but it just seems like everybody's kind of slowed down just a little bit, which is good. I mean, I think it's important for us to all take time and slow down and, oh my gosh, I am loving these. Like, I liked them before when I just did them with my... Trying to decide which way I want it. I think I want it this way. Uh, when I just did them with those scraps, but... This was one thing. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, like, about this size um, scraps. And I'm like... Should I put those in my Etsy shop? Would people want them? I don't know. You guys tell me. Now, yes, could I use my circle punch to do circles? Yes, I could. But you've seen me do that a thousand times. So I'm just kind of having some fun with making these pockets slash envelopes because what? that's got a little... Because you could certainly, we can probably make this one into an envelope. Let's just try it. Let's see if it works. I might have made used the too big of a hole punch. Hmm. Let me think. Well, let's fold it down first. Yeah, it'll be perfect. So I'm trying to think. Do I know anything new? What's going on? Let's see. Oh, I know. Let's see. You'll be seeing this on May 4th, right? So that means it's almost Mother's Day. And if you watched um, April 29th, last Friday's video, it's uh, Mother's Day using vintage Mother's Day greeting cards. I am doing a giveaway. And I think it's going to be really, really fun. And I will show you. Either I'll show you at the end or I'll pause in between our little projects and I'll show you what we're doing. I started making these vintage, I have tons of vintage greeting cards. Uh, I've been collecting them forever. I've just, I can't help it. I can't help myself. But um, I want others to be able to enjoy them as well. And I have not, I, they're all packed away and so I haven't sorted them all out to, you know, which ones are okay, because I have some really old ones, okay to make digitals, which ones, you know, like, I want to just sell in little packs, so that's, it's one of my to-dos, but it's not going to happen for a while. Let's, you know what, for fun, let's take, uh-oh, hold on, there it is, I was looking for my little Velcro, I have this, this is unbelievably strong vel Velcro. Do I want to do that before? Probably not. Let me just take a little tiny, little, little tiny piece off. Now, the nice thing about using these Velcro, heavy-duty Velcro strips on wallpaper is the wallpaper is pretty durable. Just stick that on there. Uh, so anyway, giveaway. Let me tell you about the giveaway. <laughs> so what I did is I uh, made a kind of a mini journal. I'm going to leave that closed so it does its thing. A mini journal. Let's just take a look at it while, before we go on to the next one. Because I think I'm going to try another, another thing. So I have two. So I made this one first. This has a pocket... And that they're both naked journals. I didn't do any really embellishing in them. So we have this one that I'm giving away. If you choose. Uh, or this one that we did on camera as a tutorial. It also has a pocket. I did put some of my cherry blossom ephemera and the leftover um, 
lace. I'm guessing that whomever wins this is probably going to want this particular one because it's coming with all kinds of extras. This was from my Cherry Blossom kit. I just left it intact. These are some extra pages I didn't use that are going in there. A piece of vellum. So I'm including all of that. And again, another naked journal so you can design and decorate it. There's a pocket on the back. And then I also included a pack of one, two, three, I forget. one, two, three, four uh, additional greeting cards so that you can play and try some of these. So that is what um, we're doing for the giveaway. And that will, I won't be able to, I'm just going to make this into a, I won't be able to announce the winner on Mother's Day because I will be driving back from Kentucky, but <clears throat> I will do it on Monday, which will be May 9th, so that you all know. So if you haven't, hop over to that video. All you have to do is like the video, that's the thumbs up, and subscribe, and leave a comment. Easy peasy. And if you want, Tag your favorite mama that you know. Give us a comment about what you love best about that person. You, whatever you like. And, you know, feel free to share the video with others. Let's see. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I guess I'm just doing this the opposite way. Girl. I just love these. And I think I love them because, oh, here, wait, I got to pop this corner. I think I like them because, you know, they're different from me always using the rounded round punch. And it finally gives this tab punch purpose. <laughs> it's redeemed itself. But I, I had totally forgot that I made these. And that's been a long time ago. So, you know, it's why I think that... We could even make that into a notebook, too. I'm not going to, but we could. It's important to have a sample book. So if you don't have a sample book, you know, you should. Um, Angelina. So now I have solved that problem, and I now have a sample book. Actually, I, you know, I always had the templates, but I use those for kind of bigger project where I was creating something that was new or that I hadn't tried before. But now I'm kind of on this mentality of what if we did one like this? Because these are okay-ish. I like that bird. But what if we make these all the same size and make this into a pocket and then just do three tab punches? What do you think? So as you're seeing, the opportunities are endless, and I'm just busting these out. Let's see, that's, whoa. And yes, I'm one of those people. I oftentimes just cut everything together. I don't know. It's just the way I roll. If I can, I will do it. Usually it serves me well. I don't have many problems with it, but on a rare occasion, I'll get one that sticks. Okay. Do we want to... Do I need to zoom you guys in? Let's see. I'm going to. Do we want to have all three of them at the same spot, or do we want to do like one, two, three? Let's just try it one, two, three, and see what happens. And if we don't like it, we won't do that again. One. Two. And I know you're probably wondering, am I going to keep all these little tabs? No. I mean, I could stick them in to my itty-bitty 
or just stick it in my scrap bin until it's time to do scrap buster day again which if you didn't see that video I, you know I'm easily amused with myself apparently but I have been working for quite some time on a process to do my scrap buster so it was one day and done and I have I think I'm up to like 30 37 or 38 different um, scrap buster ideas and then I do them in a certain order or relatively a certain order why am I doing the bottom of that? I don't know. And that way, I'm getting out all the supplies. I have a supplies list. And I just kind of give you some of my tips and suggestions on how I do it. And I just bust it. I bust up those scraps. Um, and that's how I spend my day crafting. Just I should do one on cake. Well, I did one on camera, but it was more of here's how the process is. I should just do one where we just craft along and you guys... You know, I did ask, I think, and I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing a comment about this, but um, I can put those on my To Restore You VIP page for you guys to have as a reference. I'm happy to do that. But yeah, I just went through all, everything that I used for my supplies. I got everything out and it was phenomenal. Notice I'm not gluing the bottom of this because, you know, when I put it on a page, I might not want to. I got to remember now that you're... So let's see. So that's the Mother's Day giveaway is coming up. That's super, super fun. And oh, uh... Let's see. Let me look at my videos. Um, I have an idea. I'm not sure when I'm going to actually announce it if I decide to do it. But um, one of the things that I'm finding, because, you know, I have, I have not yet sold my journals on Etsy, and I don't know. I don't know why, but mostly be now. I mean, at first I was like, I don't know. What if it's not good enough? Um, but you all told me it's fine. Just, you know, put them on there. But the thing is, is that for the most part, I don't do a lot of journals start to finish. Um, my preference is more, um, I like that. Let's put some stuff in there. I just like the the freedom to do. Let's just stick a couple of things in here. No, that's too big. Just to kind of do whatever the spirit moves me and, you know, kind of go that way. And what, what it does is really keeps my creativity. I'm not finding, let me see, let me put down that peach piece of paper. Once again, so we can kind of, I know it doesn't match, but... It'll help you see it better. Oh, Angela, what do you want to put here? Let's just put a couple little things in here. Let's fold that up so it's smaller. I am folding today. Whew. Despicable. Um, and so that's kind of the other reason is that I'm not usually a start to finish kind of girl. And so, um, I'd rather just try new things and say, Hey, try this in your journals. And so, you know, each to their own. Um, if you want to see what this looks like on the back, every single one of these are open. So I can choose when I'm ready to put it on my journal, how I want it to go. I kind of wish, let's see if I can move this down just a smidge without, I just feel like it's not quite, there we go. I like that. Should we make another one? Oh, wait. I know. We wanted to make... How many of these do I have? Let's try... Let's try a couple little matchbooks. Can we do... I'm trying to think. I don't know if we can use the tab on these. Let's see. We could do it... We could do it a little bit different. Make it a little bit larger. So this is about an inch, I would guess. 
Ooh, I got all kinds of... Let's make it... Let's see. Let's try it here. I want it to go like that, so... I think that'll work. I'm just folding that like that. So let's just put the little tab right here. And we can go less. I mean, we don't have to go all the way down on that. See how cute that looks? All right. So now we're going to glue this piece. Okay, I'm getting all boogery over here with my glue. So that, you know, that kind of goes to show that, I, you know, then I end up with all of these people, people, <laughs> these pieces when I want to do a journal and I'm like, okay, uh, now I've got all of these things to use when I actually do a journal and it's too much. I, I have way too much. So I know this is not exactly like a regular matchbook, but what I think we will do And my, see a lot of times when I make, when I create my wallpaper kits, I use the, tear, I use a ruler, so they're not always even. Why don't we, should we put some paper in there? Should we make this into, let's just do it. We'll make it a little notebook. So. Oh, geez, Squirrel Angela. Um, so what I think I might do is find a way where you can all benefit. And it helps me. Um, with a fun little giveaway down the road. Which I think you guys will really, I think you'll like it. I hope you like it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about, but I need to think it through because, you know, this seems like it's going to be wider. It is. Let's go a little bit. This is where things can go real bad, real fast with me cutting. <laughs> so that will be announced, let's see, probably... Probably in the first or second week of May. I'm just going to do that. That's plenty. Don't you think? There's a stapler in there. Where's my baby stapler? Oh, oh there it is. Now I'm going to use my new little tiered Lazy Susan. Will that fit? I think I need to cut this down just... No, maybe not. I better. Just in case. Just a sliver. Just a smidgy. There we go. Will this fit? Ugh. Here, we're just going to go like that. There's always a solution, right, kiddos? You're not kiddos. I call, I say that all the time to my kids, so. <laughs> there, cute. Now let's round the edges of this. Well, I didn't realize this was gonna be as fun as it's been because I was just planning on showing you one little thing and look at all the, and that's the beauty of, um, you know, just trying a project because you guys will co probably come up with ideas I have not tried. And if you do, I hope you tag me. Just You can just tag to Restore You. Um, you can always do Meet the Shrouds if you want, but just do to, hashtag to Restore You and I'll find it. Eventually, when um, we make, I, we make some, um, some of our goals, then I will actually have our Meet the Shrods channel. That's why I haven't really done a whole lot with it. Um, and just have this this particular one. Should we 
put a little Velcro on there. Let's see how this Velcro turned down on this one. This is such super duper duty. Oh, it works great. Perfect. Okay, well, let's do it. Um, just because, you know, I think it's confusing to um, my viewers. You know, when it says meet the shroud, it doesn't really represent that I'm doing DIY crafts, you know, junk journals and that kind of thing. So I think it's important to, uh, <laughs> that's glue, to change it up a little bit to make it more succinct. This one I decided to add a little bit extra. Um, glue on the back. And I should have done that with the other one. I didn't. Um, but I learned my lesson a while ago with this Velcro. Holy moly. I put a whole, it was during my, um, when I did the sewing pattern tutorials. Oh my gosh. I put that on one of my projects and it just tore that baby apart. I was like, well, ooh. Note to self, this is very strong and cute. What we got, okay, we need to, we need to do something before uh, we call it a day with, let me just pick myself up here a little bit. I want those. I do not want these. I know you can't see anything that I'm doing, can you? Because I zoomed you in. I'm just getting rid of my little scrappies. I did um, some embossing. And Landon actually came down and helped me. Oh, it was, I think, last week, maybe. And I still have glitter everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my goodness. Okay, I am going to get the cutter out or bring it over for this one because I want that cable knit. So, you know, when we do Wallpaper Wednesdays, I say, you know, use it all. Use everything that you possibly can. No reason not to. And this was just a piece in the middle that separated probably the colors. I know this is out of, because I have you zoomed in, but it won't be in just a second as soon as I cut all this off. Okay. Now, technically, we have the ability... I'm going to leave a little bit of that white on there. On the cable. Maybe. Okay, so we have this piece. I might have to zoom you out. Maybe not. This piece. I think we can use part of that. We'll just cut the... Ooh, you know what? You guys have seen like how I like to do my little people vignettes. Wouldn't that be cute with some paper doll people? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Using it. So yes, um, I said in a recent video, which you probably have already seen if you um, follow me. Let's do this one too that I did a huge purge, huge, and so it's time to stiff up my game and get rid of some of the, the things that I've got. Oh, that's going to be neat. Very cool, and I left the white on there. Look how neat that is. I love it. Um, So I need to just keep on gifting and doing giveaways and, you know, being more diligent about getting things on Etsy. But ugh, I spent one whole day this week and that's what I need to do is just say, okay, today's Etsy day and I need to upload and scan and it just takes so long. I think I'm going to leave this these open. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, I love that. Wouldn't that be cute in like a 
just a, one of the, um, I don't know if I want to do a whole journal. I like doing the smaller journals, but maybe a mini journal or a file folder journal. Um, but I, I want, I've always had a desire to have a, a room that was all creams and whites. And I know you guys are like, oh, you're crazy, especially with kiddos, right? But I've always kind of wanted to do it. And so I'm like, well, it's probably not going to happen <laughs> because we have pets and kids, a husband. <laughs> so I thought, well, I should do like a little mini journal. I might want to cut that one down a little bit. Oh, I love these. You know what we could do? We could put that not as one. Yes, and then you get to see more of that cable knit. And that can be a little tuck. I may glue these down because otherwise I'll forget. So now this would be one that I would want if I do this differently and or any of these that are different. I need to put them in my sample book. So I say, oh yeah, you did that and then you did this. And the other thing is just remembering to make more than one of each thing, you know? So if I do have a project and I am working on a... Yeah, I like this. Ooh, I should have looked to see how wide this was. Ooh, that's cutting it. It's six... Six and five-eighths. Hmm. I'm thinking I need to... Hmm. Yeah. If I don't do this now and I decide to put it all together and then I want to use it in a journal, I'm going to be really disappointed if it does. Let's just go down to... Okay, so... Let's take it a little bit off each side. I'll have to re-ink again. But better to be safe than sorry. Uh, see, this is one of my times that that didn't cut. See? See, I told you... Now I need to ink up again. Mmm, that is yummy. And I didn't pop these corners off. So I hope you are enjoying this, and I hope you guys are playing along if you have one of these. Um, and maybe, I mean, maybe there are uses for this that I, I mean, maybe you have solutions for it. I don't know. So this I wanted to be way down there. And probably like that. Well, not too far because. And then maybe this one just like that. Let's put something on this to hold it down. Can you see all that? Am I going out of here? We go. I have this thing like once I figure out where I want something like I don't want it to move. Uh, let's see. So we have two pockets. How should we do this one? Do we want to do it? It's kind of boring. Or do we want to do another? I say another one of these. And I kind of want it in the same spot. Maybe a little farther over. Now we just have a whole page of pockets to put on a, one of our signatures. So anyway, I want to do one that's just all neutrals. This would go perfect in it. Should I remember that? Let's see how long does that end up being. Okay, this needs to come down since I already whacked the other one off. See, this is how I usually rip my wallpaper, even though that's not a piece of wallpaper. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm switching it up. This will be the last one that we do. And then I'll let you guys on your merry way. So you can go have a play. There we go. Wonderful. 
Well, I'm just going to keep gluing this up and I will say goodbye to you. Um, I will link the Mother's Day video below and I don't remember which other ones that I mentioned now. <laughs> but should I remember, I usually don't watch my videos before I... Um, Oh gosh, what am I doing? Before I publish them, as long as they didn't go too, you know, terribly crazy. Oh, that glue. Um, and sometimes I will watch them after I publish them. Um, and then that's a good time for me to figure out if I need to add anybody else. Cute, cute, cute. We don't want that one to be too far because I want the cable to show. So I hope you're having a fantastic day crafting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a, what the heck? <laughs> this glue. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't so you can participate in the uh, Mother's Day giveaway. <clears throat> and I shall see you on our next video. I have kind of a fun one uh, planned. I think all of them are fun. So, you know, <laughs> I told you I'm easily amused. Uh, well, have a great day, everybody. And remember to take time to just be um, we will, well, no, we won't. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave these alone because they are just not drying. I want to show you what we got. So we have our, that's probably not ready. We have our notebook. We have this little double pocket. We have one, two, three pockets. This little envelope, another little single pocket, single pocket and or envelope. We have another little envelope that's velcroed and then this one this one might be my favorite so we've created one two three four five six seven eight nine if this thing ever decides to cooperate with me um pieces of ephemera for your journals and i hope you have enjoyed it we will see you next time until then remember to take time to just be and we will see you soon cheers <laughs>